so much remains under investigation as this case develops. Right now, we are outside of Castleview Elementary School. It's going to remain closed here for the next week, or at least the rest of the week moving forward as police are trying to figure out the motive. What caused this suspect to storm inside of the campus and hold that teacher hostage? Today, teachers are returning to Castleview Elementary School to pick up their belongings and cars after evacuating from the Riverside School yesterday. Police had responded to the campus when a man suffering some type of breakdown held a 70 year old teacher hostage for hours. She has been identified by her daughter as Linda Montgomery, a first grade teacher who's taught at the school for decades. The suspect, ultimately shot and killed by police, identified as Luvel Kennan, a 27 year old father whose daughter attends the school. He just went through the office. That was the only way to get in. We, we did the best we could. We did the best we could, and I believe we did a great job. Teacher Kimberly Butts emotional this morning, knowing all students are safe and accounted for. I'm thankful for the response. I'm thankful for, you know, one incident, one fatality, not two, not three, not many more. I'm just grateful. Today, Riverside police are unable to say if the suspect was armed with any weapons or what was inside multiple backpacks he carried, saying there's still a lot to investigate. They believe the best information will come from Montgomery. This was very traumatic for her, so she was, uh, they, they were kind of trying to give her a little space to, to recover mentally a little bit before they, they uh, start talking in depth with her. What they will discuss is the decision by SWAT officers to finally go inside. We hadn't heard anything from her, either through the suspect or, or from her, so there was growing concern uh, for her safety. So uh, it, it was elected to go in and rescue her. And Montgomery's daughter tells Eyewitness News that her mom is now doing okay. That is the good news to report in all of this. Meantime, there was a substitute teacher here at the campus who was injured during the initial altercation. He tried to stop that man from getting inside the room with that teacher. He was punched and suffered a broken nose. Police calling that man a hero for his actions to try to help.